to. Is it happening? Did we get it up? We We're up. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. It's hard to believe it's Wednesday already. I know. But it is. We can't stop time. I know. And we switch sides. And we can't turn back time either. <laughs> Cher taught me that. <laughs> Sun, that's back in the days. Did you used to yeah, watch the Cher show? No. The Sunny and Cher show? On oh, I was too young for that, Kimberly. No, it was like Sunday night lineup with, you know, you watched Hee Haw and Sunny and Cher. Well, okay. We had Hee Haw in my house. But we were country. But Sunny and Cher was but out But I there. would sneak around on Saturday nights and watch Solid Gold. Because Solid <laughs> Gold dancers. Oh, good morning, everybody. England's here. Pittsburgh. San Antonio, Texas. We did switch it up, and we switched it up because of cords and Misty's right-handed, and so I got moved over here because she's going to show you techniques today that she needs to have all of her stuff just Actually, so. we just want to see if y'all are paying attention. But well, we had to take the name tags down <laughs> because that would be really confusing. Oh, goodness. Oh, I see familiar faces. Well, well, then, familiar. okay, I guess they're saying Sonny and Sherwin in the 60s, and I was born in 1965, but I think I watched him in the 70s. I, I mean, I know that they were popular in the 60s. I remember seeing, like, clips then, from the shows, but I was thinking that that was, you know, about, like, from the 60s. But I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. We got some Venice, Florida. Hi, Christy. Sweetwater, Texas. Sweet water. I never understood how water could be sweet. Well, you until you're really thirsty. Yeah. Well, drink Fiji water. It's just so naturally good. It's like sweet. Mm. I don't like to drink water. Well, I don't either. That's why I have to get Fiji. <laughs> uh, probably uh, Sanders says probably early seventies. I mean, I remember it. You know, eight, nine, ten years old. We could Google it if we wanted, but you know. That would just be too easy. We wouldn't have anything to go back and forth about. My mom had a share wig. Yes, she did. She it did. was made by Tony and Beverly. Mm -hmm. Zen. It was called Zen. Yeah. She in fact, we had that still when I work, came to work here. It was long, long. Yeah, it was like down to your booty long. <laughs> You'd sit on that thing, pull it right off. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I sat on my hair and left it in the chair. Oh! That was cute. I made a rhyme. <laughs> I sat on my hair and left it in the chair. I'm on a roll today. <laughs> did you have a good Labor Day? I did. I did I too. Did. It was um, it was the first day, and I don't know how long I did not come into the store. I actually took the whole day off. And that's what you should do. Yeah, I did. Well, me too. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what we have on. Oh, I've got, I've worn this before. I've got Orchid from Aesthetica um, in Silver Sun Root. Uh, this is a lace front mono part wig. So it's got the lace front and it's got that darker root and it's got that super, super line, light platinum blonde. Turn around, see the curls. It's got a little bit of a, I'm not used to a little bit of body wave. Ours look really similar and I'm glad you decided to wear that because I also have on Aesthetica, but I have on the Reeves in the color 826, which mine doesn't have a lace front. So the style is really similar, but I have my own hair pulled out around here um, and have it up in a clip. So if you're wanting something, you know, that doesn't have lace front or monofilament top or part, basically same length, same kind of style, just different caps. Well, I have about, I don't know, eight wigs I keep up here. And Misty put on long hair and I decided I had the FOMO. I wanted long hair too, so. These girls in their FOMO. I always want to be like Misty. Oh, hush up. Okay. Um, Mary says that her sister used to sing Half Breed by Cher. Oh, oh I used to can you imagine if that song came out now? <laughs> you can't say things like that. That and Gypsy Tramps and Thieves. <laughs> True. Is that the, that's a different song or is that the same uh, song? No, that's a, that's a different song. I'm like, my goodness. That was racy. It was. That's probably why you weren't allowed to watch it at your house, and that's why you got he instead. 
pro well, I was pretty racy too. When you look back and you start watching it, and them little skimpy little outfits coming up from the corn. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness gracious! Y'all see this lovely wig we have right here? We have a guest, a guest with us. Yeah, <laughs> that is from Bake Your Turkey, Not Your Wig. That's my wig. Yes, it is. That was one of my favorite ones. Bake Your Turkey. That reminds me of Thanksgiving, which is coming up soon. It is. First day of fall in two weeks. Okay, let's answer a couple questions. Um, Carolyn's asked, do Renea Paris wigs run small? It depends. <laughs> Usually the original Renea Paris red tag run pretty average, I think. Now, Noriko, which is also by Adirans, run small. All right, we got a fact checked here. Fact check. Uh, 77 and seven, 76 and 77 was the Sunny and Cher show. Okay, well, I was born in 73, so I was a little young for that. Right. <laughs> I have to just hold on to my youth while I can. <laughs> I can remember it. So No, I, I used to just, you know, who doesn't love I Got You Babe? Right. I mean, you just, right. just what you get Sunny and Cher from. So. All right, <sighs> so let's get started because you got a lot to show I do. today. Um, I do. Um, we have been waiting. We've had these before, and they sold out immediately. And we've been waiting patiently, for the most part, <laughs> to get these back in stock. And um, it's the John Renault wig steamer um this is a very good steamer i mean we had never used these um because to be honest i've never been a fan of the directed steam i always like the one that we use which i didn't bring back here that has the it, it's really just like this but it has three holes here so it's more open and i'm used to doing fast work these are much better if you're not used to like steaming and you're working on your own wig at home because that way you have a really directed steam but the only other side to that is that it can totally get a lot more concentrated and hot so always if you're new to using a steamer hold it back further from the wig so we decided to show you some things some things oh. so the steamer can be used for a couple of different things one obviously is to repair a wig we use it probably 70% of the time to do some repairs. If someone opens the oven door and they get that blast of steam, um, you get these nice frizzies. This is a little extreme. I don't think we're gonna be able to make this wearable, but um, it is a good example to show you how it kind of smooths it out. But that's what we mostly use it for. Um, and a lot of times if you wear a longer wig under here, it gets all tangly. The steam is great for that. Anything wet on your wig fiber, any kind of wet steam. Um, dry heat is no good so unless you're using one of these so we'll get to that in a minute too so I'm gonna work on these bangs this is Kim's Jolie that she had and she ruined it baking I don't even know what at this point it wasn't your turkey I, no but I cook a lot of stuff she cooks a lot um, and so this was like extreme like broiler heat so if you see this happen to your wig, it's probably not, even if you bring it into us, it's probably not going to be repairable, but um, we're going to try and just see what happens. So, All right, it's going to be loud, so we're not going to be able to talk during it. Yeah, I, I don't know how many other wig stylists do this. I always, always use both of these together. That way, this turned on, even on low, kind of deflects that steam and it keeps it from like just bearing down on the fiber so you can work a little slower and kind of do a little forming if you don't have both of these be careful with this one so I'm going to show you with and without so while this is getting nice and hot Kim can take some questions or talk, talk oh. to you well somebody else wrote in and said Google says that the Sunny and Share show was 1971 so maybe I watched reruns I don't know um Okay, and that says she needs a head for your wigs to use these devices. You actually need kind of a setup. You need the block. We call them a block. They're heavier, and you need the stand. Um, and we do sell both of those. I don't know if they're on the website or not. Um, uh, I think I think the clamps are. I'll get them added if not. Now we use a metal one. The ones we sell are plastic, but it also has an extender. So these are just one the ones that we've had forever, the ones that I'm using. The plastic one we have has an extender, so if you have a long wig, it'll fit on any bar or table that has a lip. And these canvas ones are, are pretty sturdy and heavy, um, but you can pin into it and get some real stability where you can't with a styrofoam. Right, the other thing about the canvas, they do come in sizes, 
uh, they they also come this is a tall block they also come in a shorter one that's going to be about right there uh, so you, you in order to really do this well you do need the setup to be able to get the good stability that misty's talking about and of course some handy t-pins i usually just use a t-pin sometimes i don't even use clips i just kind of twist the hair and get it up out of the way all right we're being asked what um the hair blower is and it is the hot tools blow brush misty's using the one and a half inch it also comes in a one inch um so Always just be careful with the steam because it, it is going to drip and it is going to be hot. So um, just make sure that you protect yourself. If you, um, just Louise wants to know if you um, want color wig choice help, just email us um, and we'll help you. Pictures are great. If you can send us pictures, that really helps us. It First of all, we like to see everybody's face, but it helps us really look at your coloring your eyes and see what we might be able to recommend for you it's not an exact science of course we're always going to tell you come in the store because we want to try things on for people but with people so but if you can't we understand not everybody can do that so we have a lot of people that send us pictures and we'll go back and forth a lot of times we'll take pictures of wigs you're considering on a head and we'll either text them or email them to you so um, just contact us and we're here to help Okay, now I would never no normally, oops, sorry, s do that, steam it really straight down like that. But since this is so bad, I have to see the fiber. So I'm getting it as flat as I can and trying to press out all of that um, extra squiggle or frizz. So that's why I'm doing it straight down. All right. Um, this is, it's regular synthetic fiber. We are not doing anything with a heat defiant fiber today. And someone wants to know, can you use a hot brush alone with the wig on your head? You can. So if you, like if I noticed on this one it was a little bit frayed, then I could take the blow brush. Uh, there's no steam coming out of it, and it never gets hot enough to burn the wig, and it's not going to burn you. So that's totally doable on your head. Okay. Now I'm going to, now that I have, I think about all of that frizz I'm going to get out of it, I'm going to take my blow brush and go back in and reform it into a good nice yeah and it, <laughs> part of it burned off they're not exactly sure straight <laughs> sure did but you know hey. and like kim said this is never going to get too hot it gets it's perfect but you have to use the plastic mm -hmm. and i don't know how many times we can say that but we still get questions can you use the ceramic or the metal no i mean you can but you'll burn up your wig you know, be having to get a steamer to undo then, the... <laughs> right. So, yeah, you definitely need to always make sure that it's plastic. And so she's just reforming that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I sprayed this with, um, before I think we started with a little of the John Renault Heat Treat, the um, thermal spray. And so, again, if you're gonna if you're going to use the blow brush on your head, you can put the Heat Treat spray right on there, then use the blow brush on your head. You can also use the... Um, hair you wear the restore mm -hmm. but anytime you use a blow brush without steam and you're using this you do need to use some sort of heat protectant spray yeah always remember not get it get it as a wet you know a wet heat mm -hmm. okay so we've had a couple comments about switching sides we did switch sides because of extension cords and everything we needed to, and misty's right-handed and so this was just an easier place for her to sit. So sorry if we're confusing people. It throws me off too. And that's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's throwing us off too. Oh, how does steaming work with lace fronts? I mean, obviously the lace is the most delicate part of the wig. Uh, so you can do it. And so sometimes we're not steaming a lace front today. Oh, well, we are steaming a lace front. Um, a little bit on one of the... Is that a reform? Yeah. That's showing how to reform. It's, well, fiber. it's actually like a reformation. <laughs> anyway, we are going to steam with the lace front. Um, hi, you Indian. You can kind of see this has made it. Look, it actually has movement to it again. Now, this side is the worst, so it's not as, as good as this side, but this side's wearable. I mean, I wish you could see, but um, 
this side is actually way soft again. This is still really crispy, but um, you know, it's okay. I mean, if you, if you had to, if you had to. It's like I was telling a customer this morning, after you start wearing wigs, you start having different wigs for different things. And so when you do have an accident like that, or you have a wig that's really kind of worn out, I compare it to old tennis shoes. You know, you wear out to your tennis shoes, but you just really hate to throw them away. So I have ladies that have yard work wigs and wigs that they walk the dog in, wigs that they go to the grocery store in. So something like this, I'll wear, you know, well, I don't know if I do a this, wig and You know what, yard. let's do, okay, because this side's good. This okay. wig normally goes to this side. Let's switch it since this is so bad. If someone were to come in with this wig and say, can you fix it? This is what I would suggest to them doing. Um, let's switch this over. So this good hair underneath that's never had any steam, you know, any heat on it covers that bad part. And that'll also show you how to reform a fiber. So if you get a wig and you part opposite, I'm going to show you how you would do that. Because right now it ain't going to stay that way. Do you know what the wig juttery means? I mean, with the word, the word jittery, jittery. Mm -hmm. it says, filming seems a bit jittery. I do know, not know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> we have tested the equipment over and over, and I, the um, audio we had a problem, shaky. It means shaky. Whew. Okay, so we're going to re-change this part, because see, it comes this way. It obviously comes that way, and that's the way Kim has worn it. But since we're going to try to cover this up, we're going to change it. So I, this is my favorite little brush. These little three-row cheapy brushes. I think we sell them for like five bucks, you know, something like that. Um, but it has this great pointer on the end, and you can really get in there and kind of find the part that you want. So we're going to go in here. The mono top goes from temple to temple. So usually about an inch over from the monofilament tops where we're going to go. So I'm filling it with my thumb. So I want to come over to about right here. So let's just, let's just find a new part. All right, well, let's answer a question about cooking in your wig. Okay. How do you avoid doing what I did? Uh, what you want to do, if you have to get something out of the oven, open the oven, let all that burst of heat come out, and then just kind of stand back and reach in. Your other option is just ask someone, hey, can you please come get this out of the oven? So it, it's not just the oven. You know, if you've got a pot cooking on the stove and you raise the lid to take a look at what's going on, it's got it's going to have a burst of steam. It's going to hit you in the front every time. So again, stand back, or better yet, just take the lid off, stand back, let that burst of steam go, and then you can stir or add herbs or whatever it is you're doing at that point. Um... So I think that addresses cooking. You know, we, we hear stories all the time, but we hear stories about people reaching into the dishwasher on the dry cycle, that burst of steam. We had one lady send hers looking down into the toaster to see how brown her toast is. I do that all the time. So um, the fiber is that sensitive to heat. So if you can avoid cooking in your wig, that's best, but it's not terribly realistic for a lot of people. Oh, crock pot too. Good point. Again, you're going to raise that lid, that burst of steam. Did you mention the dishwasher? I did mention the dishwasher. Okay. And Sorry, I'm concentrating over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, I'm going to make this wearable. I have a feeling. All right. Is it possible to cut my longer wig shorter? That's kind of a loaded question. It, it's really style specific. Um, it, it depends on how many layers it's got. If it's a bob and it's really straight and all one length, that gets really tricky. The fiber doesn't reform like your hair. And so, um, you know, usually when people are asking us that, we tell them you've got to come in the store and let us look at it. And then we'll tell you whether it can be done. Uh, again, I think we've done some of that with some pictures with people where they've mailed their wigs into us and we've uh, cut them. She, you're using the high setting, right? Yeah. She's using the highest setting on the blow brush. And again, on the highest setting, it's never going to burn your wig. And it's, I mean, uh, you, you can, can, tell, you I can, can hold it in your hand. hand. Yeah. So if you can hold your hand on it, then your fibers are safe. Yeah. Oh, Drema, you're right. Barbecue. And we all mm -hmm. love to barbecue down here. Campfire. 
Mm -hmm. You guys keep getting fall weather, but it's going to be out making s'mores. Well, and that brings up another thing, sitting on the fireplace hearth. You know, and for those of you that live in really cold climates, sometimes that's the only way to get warm is to sit on the hearth. And that heat and having that, you know, if you're sitting with your back to it, it can melt that fiber in a heartbeat. All right, and the thing about this is you have to have patience when you're using the hot air brush. So put it on there and just keep reforming it. Don't, don't think it's going to happen in, you know, 10 seconds. Have some patience with it and let it kind of cool down in between times. Use your hands, put it in here, see how it's falling. Wow. And then when you get it like you want it, then you're good. That was a great idea to move that over because it really hides Will you that. try it on? Oh, Do you mind? sure. Um, so we're going to let Kim try it on and just see. But I think this has gone from totally trash to something that could, could be wearable, especially when someone's in a spot where they maybe can't afford a new wig right now or, you know. Or they're done with their treatments and their hair's growing in and they just really don't want to buy another wig. Now you got to practice other other way. <laughs> like your real hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> our camera's opposite so that's why she's like yeah i mean it's still not that great but i think you shoot can, i'd wear it you could get it, the bangs look really short yeah where, you know yeah that's wearable yeah it is wearable i mean it would still need a little bit more seeming to mm -hmm. kind of personalize it but you get the idea yeah so um that's that's the way you would do mild heat damage that was major but mild heat damage you can almost always get to be wearable so no uh, deborah this is jolie by noriko and color mocha highlight it's not it's not my cameron that i wear so. all right what's next okay now we have this wonderful wig what's the name of it i can't remember it's called sue sue if you remember our um, video of the Alexander collection, um, we were so excited and we put this on and I don't know why, but it just reminded me of tusks. So um, we haven't really sold very many of these. Um, and so Kim had the idea. She's like, "What? Well, let's just see what we can do with it. So um, we're gonna customize this. We're gonna see if we can take the tusks and file them down a little bit. <laughs> So she's going to put it on and we're going to show you before and then I'll just see how it, how it works. Again, I'm putting this liner on for hygienic purposes. Um, Cause I think this could be made cute and a little bit more modern if it were just straightened out right here. Cause it has a cute stack in the back. It's just real. What do you say? Other way. It's super heavy in the bang area. Doesn't even, I don't even have it on straight. Bye, Lori. Lori says she's got to go early. Bye, Lori. So, okay. you see <laughs> these things? Yeah. It's just, it's, no, it's a no. If you were going to be a flapper, that would be great. Well, um, Halloween's coming up. Well, I was a flapper last year, so I'm not going to be a flapper this year. I don't know why. I'm I don't. Be this year. Whatever it is, order early from Amazon because I don't want to hear about <laughs> it again. Don't get me started on my peacock. My peacock feather. Okay, so what do you want to do? I'm going to straighten these out. Okay. So um, we're going to show you, like, if, and this works especially well. This is, again, an extreme case. So if you get a wig in and it has a little cold set issue or maybe the bang's sticking out or something like that, this is a perfect way to change it. Um, if you have a hot air brush or if it's really extreme like this the steamer so let's see what we can do and this is a lace front and a mono part okay so we don't want to change the part because it's a mono part so we're just going to put our wig on our block and then i always pin right here in the ear pieces the hot airbrush is made by hot tools and uh, the two sizes that we sell and that we use are the one inch and the one and a half inch. And what Missy's using today is the one and a half inch. Which works great if you have anything that has length to it. If you're wearing a really short wig, the, the one inch. But. All right, Annette wants to know how I store my personal wigs at home. 
Oh, brother. She, she goes through a lot of wine. <laughs> I store them on wine bottles. You want to store your wig upright, and I've got a lot of wigs, and the heads take up room, and I'm always getting another new wig. So I just um, store it on a wine bottle, and that way I can store them closer together. Um, and also, if it's long, then I can hang the long part, you know, let it hang down. Uh, for something like this, I wouldn't let it hang down because it's got curl to it, and I wouldn't want the curl to fall out. So this was really heavy in the bang, so all I'm doing now is taking a, a big section of it out, and we're going to go away from the face with that. But if you don't drink wine, you can use a glass face. Um, those work great. We all have extra glass faces that we've got in flowers, and you never know what to do with them, but you don't want to throw them away. Use them to store your wig on. Um, yeah, you can use the hot airbrush to help um, with when the uh, when the ends start to look worn and they start to fray. It's one of those things that you want to stay on top of. So if you've got a longer wig, like what I have on, and you know it's going to be rubbing against your shoulders, your neck, uh, when you buy that, I would suggest getting a hot airbrush at that time because you'll start seeing that it frays pretty quick. And if you just stay on top of it and do it on a regular basis, you can really extend out the life of the wig. Oh, Linda hangs them from the tag. You can also... Um, the other thing that people can do is, um, yes, cork end up, is take a skirt hanger and hang your wig upside down by the tag, like that. And that way you can get two wigs on a <clears throat> skirt hanger. It helps, um, that way it's upside down. It's kind of like blowing your hair dry upside down. That way you keep that nice fluff that you want. Um, and Ann says two liter soda bottles will work as well. They will. Um, kind of have to fill them up with water because they're not that heavy. The plastic will topple over. Get a little bit of weight in there. Okay, Andrew, you want to know what you can do when your lace front is bent due to storage. It's lifting up in the front. Um, if it's not really coming down here, I and, and I have wigs that do that and part of it's just the way the wig curve and my head curve don't seem to get along at times and so I just pull down here. Misty will use it stays to put a little bit of that just to get that to stick down and um, she's had good success with that so those are a couple of options. It stays works great too if you have a, a really itchy lace front because mm -hmm. usually if it's itchy that just means that it's sh it's kind of digging in there and, and shifting so it stays works great. Oh, Dreamy uses a pickle jar for her short ones. All right, someone's asking about uh, if we cut the tags out of our wigs. I don't, but if someone comes in and they're buying a pixie and it's or a really tight neckline back there, we will suggest that they cut the tags out because if the tag does pop through, you're going to see it, and that's not a good thing. Um, who makes the roomiest caps? Yeah, nor not Noriko. Um, I would probably say Aesthetica gives great stretch. Raquel Welch, some styles do. Uh, John Renault has a really comfortable cap. You get more stretch out of John Renault than what you do with the Noriko, but not as much as uh, the Aesthetica. Okay, Millie, we are not working on any heat defiant wigs today. So this blow brush will work with traditional synthetic fiber. It never gets hot enough to burn the fiber. What do you use to take the it stays off? Just water. Just water? Usually okay. I'll just take a wet like washcloth when I'm ready to take it off and just literally hold it right there and it just comes right off. Alright, and lip sense. I've got fire and ice on with glossy gloss, and Misty has on um, beige champagne with pearl gloss. Yes. And you might want to tell them about that. <laughs> Remind them that. Oh, yeah. If you notice, the lip sense isn't on the uh, website anymore, so if you want to purchase it, you've got to call the store. Uh, we're still trying to work through that, and they're having some website issues, and so the portal that we were trying to download isn't working, so we're still trying to work with them. 
Deborah says John Renault in large cap works best for her. Uh, my Cameron that I wear is a large cap and I love it. Oh, Annette wants to know which wigs have the tabs that come down further. You know, they're all a little bit different. It, that's not going to be as manufacturer specific. And that's, I grow low. So my hairline grows lower than a lot of people. So my tabs are always above my hairline, which if I'm wearing blonde isn't a problem. But when I, when I wear something dark, I've really got to make sure I've got good coverage there. So you can see just from wow. side to side, that just took some of that crazy um it made it look way more modern and out so instead of this which i don't know it's to me it's better i would come a lot more wearing this than i would that so let me do the other side real quick okay. and millie we said earlier but um it's the hot tools flow brush and this is using the one and a half inch barrel and it also we also sell the one inch it comes, I think it comes in some other sizes, but for what we found, for what we do, those are the most usable sizes. All right, I'm trying to read the questions. Oh, Sharon says that Gabor caps are comfortable. They are. They're very comfortable. You do get good stretch out of the Gabor. And Gabor has some large sizes as well. Um, I know that they just came out with Sweet Talk and Opulence in a large cap. Uh, we also carry Carte Blanche in a large cap, which is a similar style to Voltage uh, by Raquel. So if you like that style, but Voltage also comes in a large cap. I think the Carte Blanche runs a little larger. Um, well, and the color range is different too. So I think that Gabor makes some better ash tone browns. So yeah, they there's, do. there's just a get hip of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we explain about cold set issues? So what happens is when they make these styles, they bake the style in, and then once the style is baked in, they let it cool. Sometimes when if they don't let it cool enough and then they get the manufacturer puts it in the box then it can crimp and we call that a cold set issue so in other words it probably didn't sit long enough to, to form the right way uh, and so that's when you're going to have things where the bangs stick out or something wonky is going on here and so that fiber needs to be reformed the the cut and everything's good it just um we see it sometimes with bangs that stick out. Um, did you do anything? Kay Abadak has asked, well, well, for one thing, she Kay, Kay's asking how she, Missy got her bangs not to lay so flat. First of all, she used a little bit of her own hair at the hairline. And did you do anything else to it? Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Give it that um, texture and... Yeah, and this is, like she said, this is, I pulled out my own hair. You can see the wig line right there, but I just pulled out a little bit of my own hair. So. All right, I think this is much better. Just going to give it a final go around. Um, Miss Nicketer? Wanting to know if you can um, cut bangs into the sky to cover the forehead. Yeah, we do that all the time. Mm -hmm. The skies are real easy because it already has a few wispies cut into it. Um, we can always add more. Oh, Mel, they're on their way. The new Raquel Welch styles are on their way. We ordered them, I guess, on, they shipped out Friday. And we knew with the holiday we wouldn't have them for today. But there is one I am so excited about. I mean, I'm so excited. That's next week. They'll be here next week. We'll show you next week. So excited. Okay. Do you want me to try that on? Are you yeah, ready? Yeah, I was just letting it sit just a minute. Okay. Yeah, th like she said, it's always a good idea if you're going to do any kind of steaming or even your blow brush. Just let it relax and properly cool down. Um, that way you're not dealing with the whole body. Of, you know, if you've done all this work and then if you you know stick it back in a box or even if you put it on your head and put it in the closet and if it's up against something you just want to always let it rest 
It's like your your meat. You know, when you cook a good piece of meat, you let it rest before you cut it. <laughs> True. Has to properly sit. Yeah. Yes, Jess Louise, a new favorite wig for Misty. Oh, I'm here. telling She'll you, go, it is so cute. <laughs> She'll say, I'm going to get this wig. I'm going to get it in two colors. Th this is the surefire <laughs> way to make sure that a wig is going to be ugly. Let me be excited about it. <laughs> and let me say it's going to be my new favorite. And it's going to come in and it's going to be awful. So I need to stop saying that. Well, we'll just break the trend. It's just so cute. The little model has her, it all tucked back and it's short and it's just so cute. It'll be cute. We'll just, we'll just start a new trend when you like it. it mm -hmm. Now, are these all, I guess we'll, we'll have to talk about that later. There's some that are going to be in, in store only and some maybe online only, but we'll talk about that when they it come It just in. gets very confusing with all the rules they have sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kay Apodaca has the same wig. Didn't she got the same color? Mm -hmm. Same wig in the same color. Um, and I just put mine back in a clip. So you can do that. I think, Kay, you and I talked about even wearing it in a ponytail. You could do that as well. Right. Okay, let's go ahead and try this on. All right. We'll see. It's still maybe not good. But I think it's going to be cute. I mean, just a little bit goes a long way when it comes to a wig. I mean, they're made to be what they are. So, mm -hmm. well, hey, not that far. I just always need so much help. Okay, so that lightened up that bang. So this, someone had asked earlier, were we going to steam on a lace front? This is lace front. Oh, you can see my liner. That's not good. That's better. Yeah, so we just pulled most of that. It still got all the bangs that it had. See the shortness? I just steamed some of it away. So it gives that nice little uh, lift that Kim likes. We call it her hump. My hump. And um, it gives her the, that actually has a great bang like your Jolie. This is cute. And then straighten those sides out a little bit to give it a little bit more of a, a kind of a classic bob shape instead of that thing. So, um, but hang on. Look like Downton Abbey. I don't know what's going on back here. You. <laughs> I got my hair all weird today. So just turn to the side a little bit and you can, oh, well, just turn to that side because I can't reach. So you can. <laughs> right there see what i'm working with guys i'm just kidding i um, always feel like so this is just now it's a little bit straighter and it hangs a little bit better and this is the color auburn sugar r which is really pretty yeah, but you could um so that. you you see it took literally like 10 minutes and we have a whole different style that's still kind of the same but without having tusks yeah. i mean tusks are not in style for women i don't care who you are and I don't care how pretty you are. But that's cute now. Yeah, it is cute. It's a cute it's little stacked cute. bob. Yeah. I All mean, right. this is on the website. If anybody wants it, it's already been straightened out and done for you. It's half price. So there's only one. Sue, raspberry ice R. I, I lied. That's not. Um, Auburn I said Sugar. Auburn Sugar R, but raspberry ice. That's cute. I might want it for myself. It is cute. And you've worn this color before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not for me, but it's good on you. Cute, All right. Cute. All right. So there you go. Let's just recap. If you do not feel confident enough to use heat on your wig, don't buy a steamer. <laughs> buy this. <laughs> I think that everybody that has a wig, with the exception of pixie cuts, you really need this hot air brush. Um, because, like I said, it, you can do what you want to do. It, it's going to take you longer if you don't use the steam. But, man, you can... You can really reform your bangs. If you get really flat bangs, you can add some curl. Maybe next time we'll show you how to add curl with it. We don't have time today. But um, you, everybody needs this. Um, this is for your little bit more brave wig wearers. And, you know, the thing of it is, you haven't lost anything if you practice on something that you're willing to throw away anyway. You might have a wig that you haven't worn in a year sitting in a drawer or something. You know, get your hands in it and start to use your steamer and start to use your blow brush till you get confident with it. And then you can kind of go, you know, full-fledged on your newer ones that you want to change a little bit. Um, Jeanette's asking, will it revert back after washing it? Absolutely not. This is a permanent change. So what we, in essence, just did is melted the fiber down, reformed it, and let it set back in. So anything you do with the steamer, no, nope, it's it's going to stay. So even if Kim were to wash this wig, it's never going to have tusks again. <laughs> um, it's it's going to be good. So like I said, 
All right. Okay, somebody's asking, just to recap, if you use the airbrush alone, do you slightly wet the wig or spray it with the three the three dollar no the number three. Oh, the uh, number three the heat. yes always always use a little bit of heat spray on there if you're not using steam i gotta be honest i like the john renault my all-time favorite is the restore by hair you wear it is so lightweight and it's kind of like that all-in-one kind of product they have that you can use it after you shampoo for your leave-in conditioner. You can spray it on in between shampoos to kind of just soften things up and liven it up a little bit. You can use it as a heat a thermal thing. So this is what I used today because I was using the John Renault steamer and it's great. It smells great. But if you have the hair you wear restore, it works just as well. And I love it too. Yeah. So all right christy says we have the best price around for our hot tools <laughs> i hope so we love those hot tool blow, blow brushes so all right well thank you for watching of course misty's always amazing um you are kim's always so sweet she feeds my ego when i don't i just you know everybody that works here is amazing they are all of, i mean every they stylist are. we're so we blessed have, yes yes we're so blessed all right, so you guys have a great week. Next week is going to be the new Raquel Welch. Um, Just Louise, you can email it to mwigboutique at gmail.com. So if you want to send um, correspondence, you can send it there. You can also send it um, directly to me or Misty, Kim at mimiswigboutique.com or Misty at mimiswigboutique.com. So we've got several different email addresses. and Just always be patient with us. Yeah, we get we, a lot of correspondence. We, we do. And we do try to keep up and so. um when it's when it's your turn we're on it and you get our complete focus mm -hmm. all right all right the name of the wig i have on is called sue by the alexander collection and it is in color raspberry ice r so yep y'all have a great week stay safe and healthy and we'll see you next time bye